don't feel bad when I'm down, I'ma be okay This track gon' come right back around, I smack the B.O.A Only the members don't come around, if you was down on one Hey though, homie. While I'm back in this video, I'm gonna show you how to wire up Quayo on plug, the Hyundai Quayo on plug. For all you DIY guys, man, don't even worry about it. I got your back. Now it's a whole lot of videos on YouTube talking about how to hook it up to the distributor, how to gut the distributor, and what wires and such and such. Blobby blabby yaki smackity. But nobody shows how to hook the four wires to the ECU for the connectors that goes to the ECU. That's where I was confused though, and I couldn't find if I went on the internet and looked at different uh platforms and, and chat rooms and all that kind of stuff. And uh I finally figured it out. It's gonna be two papers that's gonna come in handy if you can print them out, or you can just look them up on your phone and just have your phone dandy. I'm gonna show y'all those two papers. A little in a little later on in the video so but also you can go to hundata.com and it'll actually show you step by step how to put this thing together what and once i found out that's why i found the diagrams to, to to show the wiring where it goes to your specific obd so it's obd1 obd2a and obd2b i got obd2a so i needed to figure out where the wires was on my obd 2 way connectors that are coexist to where they want me to put the wires from the uh coil on plug so that was my main issue there once i figured that out then the instructions say d pin rear pin and all this kind of stuff well i bought mine used it didn't have no pins on it mr hundata <laughs> all i got is cut wires so what do i do then it doesn't talk about splicing so what I did, I hit up Driver B on Instagram, and I was like, hey, uh, you know that uh, Hyundai Quayon plug? Well, those four wires that go to the connector to the ECU, can you splice them in? Once he said, yeah, you can splice them in, I was like, okay, cool. Thank you kindly. That's all I needed to know. Yeah, boy. <laughs> My Integra got the coil on plug. Already got it hooked up, but I'm gonna show y'all how I hooked up. I'm not gonna go in detail on the distributor because, like I told y'all, there's plenty of videos to show you how to gut the distributor and the wires and all that kind of stuff. And you know how to put the coil plugs in. I got a wire wire, um, the holder for the uh, the coil on plugs, the coils, and then you know you just put the ground. Some people put the ground to the distributor. Uh, Hyundai says to put it to the thermostat um, where all the other grounds go to the thermostat that's why I put mine this wire right here so we gonna go inside the car but first I want to start it let y'all know this damn thing actually work and I ain't just blowing smoke you, 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 you felt me come on now dog so, alright so we got this thing here go fire it up real quick okay Okay, here we go. Alright, so fired up. You can see the RPMs if you can't hear the car running. Let's go back out. We run it. Four year old plug. Alright, so just want to demonstrate the thing do work. And what I'm about to show y'all doesn't do the work. Okay? You feel me? Alright, so here we go. These are the two papers that I was telling you about in the beginning of the video. This one, as you can see, I printed it off Hyundai.com, uh, and it actually shows you specifically what ECU, uh, what OBD. So, if you OBD1, it's telling you this ground wire, which is black, this is not in color, but you got four, okay? It's going to be these four right here. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, these four right here, you got a red, a yellow red. Uh, like a what is that like uh, like purple and black it ain't like purple it is purple okay here we go so you got red a yellow red purple and black that's what these wires are right here so it's telling you the black one is ground and if you got OBD1 
you want this wire to go to the A23 pin, okay? If you got OBD2A, like me, they want you to put it to A10. And if you got OBD2B, uh, like some others, they want you to put it to B2. Now, this came in handy. Also, go online, Google. Whatever OBD you have, whether it's OBD1 or OBD2A, OBD2B, just Google OBD1 pinout or OBD2A pinouts or uh, OBD2, not uh, OBD, what the hell am I, OBD, OBD1 Kenobi. Spit that shit out, man! Anyway, whatever OBD you have, go on Google and get the dash schematics, okay? They got it. It's all there for you. Get it. I got OBD2. Uh, a so this is the one I have 96 to 98 so 99 to 2000 would be uh, OBD 2B What the hell? Yeah, OBD 2B. I'm getting confused in the mother. But anyway, it'll tell you right here now This is very important if you have OBD 1 The way you count OBD 1 and mind you the way this is facing you is behind let me pull these out. All right, so I pulled a connector out. When you're looking at these uh, wiring schematics right here, it's not facing. As you look at this, it's not telling you from the front, okay? That's telling you from the back. So when you look at this on the paper, it's from the back of the connector, okay? So remember that. Also, OBD, as you can see, this is OBD 2A. And if you look, it count one two three four from left to right now if this was obd1 it wouldn't be the same it'd be one at the top two at the bottom three at the top four at the bottom so it'll go up down up down up down all the way across so you got to keep that in mind how they count it so you be able to pick the right wire also i kind of skipped that on uh, this paper right here but on hundata.com and they show you how to wire it up it'll tell you on the paper Okay, it's at the bottom portion. I kind of cut it off because I just wanted this up here. But it'll tell you, for instance, it says, uh, for me, OBD2A, you want this uh, black wire, which is ground, to go to OBD2A A10. So I come up here to the A connector. It's telling you A connector, and it want me to go to A10. So on mine, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's telling you 10 is PG1. The bottom half of this schematic on uh, Hundata.com, it actually tell you what that wire is when you get to it. And it actually says that wire should be PG1, okay? So once I got this wiring schematic and I went to A10 and it actually said PG1, then I knew that's the wire for sure. Wasn't no guessing about it because this one said PG1. It's not there right now, but at the bottom of the... The page on the Hundata.com, it actually says PG1. And then when I went to the page and it says that same uh, wire is PG1, then I knew, okay, cool, that's the right wire. And then it'll tell you, the uh, the red wire is the power wire. For me, it's going to be A11. If you got OBD2B, it's going to be 1. If you got OBD1, it's going to be A25. So when I went to OBD2A, it said A11, and it actually told me, it's going to be the IGP-1. So when I went up there, it did say IGP-1. And I was like, okay, cool. That's the right wire. Ain't no guessing about it, okay? So these two papers will actually come in handy. If you want to, you can pause the video and you can see that real clearly. Also up here, if you are obd 2 way guy, pause the video. And here's the wiring. You ain't got to do all that searching. I got it right here for you. OBD-1 is real easy to find because that's the most common when you're dealing with uh, Hyundai, um when you're doing any kind of uh, 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 performance stuff on these older Hondas, they always want you to go to OBD-1. So that's going to be real easy to find. All right. So for you OBD-2A guys, if you got a 97 Integra like mine. Here you go, man. I'm making it real easy for you. You can splice it. All I did was cut the wire. Don't cut it. Uh, they say they want you to do it close to the connector. So make sure you leave enough wire to uh you know in case you want to make some changes go back to stock or whatever you got enough wires to where you can actually put the wire back together mind you i just spliced it and put electrical tape around it i know two or three y'all just fainted water water because i didn't use butt connectors or i didn't 
uh, D pen and use pens or I didn't use heat shrink. This is not heat shrink. It's electrical tape, but I'm going to tell you why I didn't do all that. I didn't solder it and all that because, you know, when you do stuff like that, you got to cut past what you did to, to, to re put it back together. So if you solder it or use a butt connector and all that kind of stuff, if you want to go back to stock, you got to cut that wire shorter. And the shorter the wire get, the harder it is to, you know, to, to splice it back together unless you deep pin it and put a new wire and all that kind of stuff. So I spliced it together and I taped it. The reason being I only use tape, one was because, like I said, if I want to go back to stock, just pull the tape off, uh, you know, unravel the wire and put it back to the to wire it's supposed to go to. Now, I'm going to tell you all real quick. Um, so from the looks of this, if you are OBD, 2a guy yellow red damn my memory is shot yellow red is going to yellow green the purple one is going to a white green the red one is going to a, a yellow black and then the black is going to a black you got a 97 integra gsr and it's obd 2a then that's all you need to know right there i just made it real easy for you so the reason again I didn't use heat shrink because I used electrical tape. Heat shrink and electrical tape, I'm not going to say the same, but electrical tape could work the same way. Cut the wire, you're going to splice it, and then you want to make an X, not a cross. Make an X and wrap it flat, okay? I'm going to pull this off in a minute. I'm going to show y'all. But once you wrap electrical tape around it, just hit it with a flame from a cigarette lighter or a torch or whatever. But you got to be real careful because uh, electrical tape uh, uh, burn through easier than heat shrink. So you just want to hit it lightly. And as you can see, it'll melt and shrink just like heat shrink. It's, it'll work the same way, man. This is electrical tape. It ain't heat shrink. You just melt the electrical tape and it'll shrink and get tight just like heat shrink. So that's what I use. That boy is good. Now I'm going to pull this uh, tape off just to show you how I twisted my wires. And uh, just to give y'all an idea, man. But it's simple. This is it. That's all I did. And then you just plug this piece into the uh, Hyundai uh, control box or whatever the hell you want to call it. And that's it, man. It's easy. Don't be scared. You DIY guys, just do it. I just basically showed you how to do it. All right, y'all see that? When I say make an X and not a cross, because if you make an X, you can wrap it flat. Now, this right here, and try to leave enough room on each side so when you get finished twisting, you're not, all, you're not all up on the rubber piece. You want to keep it within the metal, okay? So this is the X and not a cross. Now I'm going to finish uh, uh, twisting it together so I can show you all how it should be. So it should be flat. So when you wrap that tape around it, you ain't fighting and, and, and uh, taking, taping wires that's poking up, coming through the tape and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. All right, you see that? That's flat, okay? You want it flat like that so when you wrap it with tape, and that one's poking a little up but there you go just like that so when you wrap it with tape it's flat and if you wrap it with tape make sure you wrap it with tape tightly you don't want it to be loose where the tape is like you can slide the tape off or whatever the case may be make sure the tape is wrapped around there tight like how i did the rest of them and then put you a little heat to it you ain't gonna use a cigarette lighter or a torch or whatever if you got a heat gun use that that might be a little better it won't burn through so easy but uh Put a heat, a little heat around that tape, and that tape go do just like heat uh, shrink. It's going to shrivel up. And while the tape is hot, just pinch it. That's how I do it. I just pinch the tape while it's hot, and it'll make it stick to the wire, and it'll be even tighter. So, you know, rubber or that nylon. What is it? Nylon or vinyl, whatever it is, electrical tape is made out of. When it get hot, it get pliable, and you just squeeze it. And it, 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 it'll stick. It, it, man, it works, okay? That's all I do with these damn cars. I ain't even had no problems with them. So anyway, that's how I splice and, and, and twist my wires together. Make sure they're tight. And as you can see, it's not loose. You want to make sure it's tight, and then you wrap it, put a little heat on it, and you're good. All right, so once you get everything hooked up, you need to go to your uh, laptop or wherever the case may be. Hopefully, you got Hyundai, uh, what's that, S Messenger installed on there and you need to go in there so you can make some changes what you go do is first you want to go to online have your key turn forward in your car and uh you'll see down here it'll say online and then uh let me back out a little bit like these lightning bolts and all that stuff will be uh 
it'll be animated. Right now, everything is grayed out because I'm not plugged into it. But all this stuff would be animated. It had color to it. But anyway, you go online, right? And you go hit download. What it is, it's going to download your tune onto the uh, the laptop so you can make changes, okay? So once that get done, you're going to go over to miscellaneous, which is this bad boy. Oh, it's hard to do it on you, but you'll go right here. All right. And then once you go there, you go go down here to this section. This section is the CPR Aquario Pack Retro. You want to click all of these, all three of these member jammers right here. Okay. So you want to turn these on. Click them. Uh, that one check. That one check. Once you do that, then you want to hit this arrow right here facing up. It's going to upload it into your tune. And once you upload it to your tune, get that key a twist and your thing should fire right up. And you can thank me later with a like and a subscribe. That's all I'm asking for, homie. I'm not charging you with nothing. Go fire up. Cause I already showed you mine fired up. You believe me or don't you? So that's it, man. That's all I wanted to show y'all. This video went a little longer than I wanted it to. I was hoping it'd be about five, six minutes. I think I'm over 10 minutes already. But we do one, do not use this wiring schematics for the ECU. It's not for you. This is for OBD2A, okay? So if you OBD2B, this isn't for you. Go on uh, the internet and get yours. Get your OBD1 or OBD2B, all right? Just wanna reiterate, do not copy this if you're not OBD2A or you go have some problems, definitely, all right? So uh, this dude will bum out, man. Catch me in the next video. Please like, subscribe. I catch y'all in the next one because I'm always doing something. <music>